How you doing fam man? This is Chris Mizo here with another video about PC parts and how expensive they are getting. God, they're making me spend all this money to just get some PC parts and they're going to make everybody who wants to build a PC or build a gaming PC or even wants to upgrade a PC so expensive. But there's a very good reason for that and I'm going to tell you exactly the reason why. Make sure you stay tuned and watch this whole video to find out exactly what's going on. Right before I get to that, if you find this video very useful, make sure you don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want to join the big wonderful fan bam, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button for more. Maybe it was one of your New Year's resolutions that you wanted to build a PC or a gaming PC. Maybe you wanted a workstation for yourself. Maybe you wanted to upgrade your PC within this new year. You're waiting for them parts just to drop down, just to get cheaper because 2020 was expensive already. Now it's 2021. You're expecting things to become more normal. Maybe everything will be more normal to the point to where you can buy your PC parts for a lot cheaper than what they were but unfortunately that is not the case i'm hearing the same question in my comments about when are pc parts going to get a lot cheaper and when can i actually get some pc parts so i can build my pc go on to new egg go on to amazon if you haven't already and take a look at those prices there are they have skyrocketed like crazy for any pc component that you need to build a pc or for upgrading a pc even so even though those new 3070s, 3080s are all supposed to be cheaper, they're also getting marked up as well. And that's not only from the scalper side of things. If you go on Amazon or Newegg, you'll notice 80% markups, 130% markups. So it seems like you may want to get parts a lot sooner than you think. You guys have to hear this, especially if you're part of PC Master Race or you're planning to be part of us. Let me start you off with this. Take a look at what Asus says. ASUS's marketing manager Juan Jose Guerrero 3 says updates regarding MSRP pricing for ASUS components in 2021. This update applies to graphics cards and motherboards, so make sure you pay close attention here because this will affect everything. We have an announcement in regards to MSRP price changes that are effective in early 2021 for our award winning series of graphics cards and motherboards. So expect this price hike very soon as he details in this very tweet. Then he tweets, our new MSRP reflects increases in costs for components, operating costs and logistical activities, plus a continuation of import tariffs. Hmm, maybe that's the problem. There is increasing operating costs, there is increasing costs for logistical activities, that means for shipping, and of course you got the import tariffs, which are increasing drastically. Then he states, we work closely with our supply and our logistic partners to minimize price increases. ASUS greatly appreciates your continued business and support as we navigate through this time of unprecedented market changes. Then in asterisk, he adds additional models may see an increase as we move further into Q1. Some of you guys out there may be thinking, oh, this won't affect me. I'm in the UK, I'm in Canada, or I'm in another country. But that's where you're wrong. It's actually going to affect you as well, because this rabbit hole gets a whole lot deeper, baby. Now, this isn't a financial channel, but have you guys paid attention to Bitcoin. Bitcoin is skyrocketing. I remember watching Bitcoin in the last year and how I could have got it for maybe $3,000 for one Bitcoin. And you know how much it is now? It is nearly $40,000 USD. That's right, $40,000 USD. And that's just for one Bitcoin. And I'm afraid things can get worse. Bitcoin is not the only cryptocurrency that is building massive rises. This is a very, very serious issue when it comes to GPUs. And the very reason for that is Bitcoin mining. Cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin has been booming. And because of that, that causes an extreme demand for GPUs. If you're not too familiar with 2017, a lot of miners were trying to buy GPUs back then. And there was a massive shortage because everybody was buying them out. 
all because they wanted to mine Bitcoin because in 2017, that was the last time it reached all time highs. Now, this is just a gist of it. Wait till you hear this. Now, GPUs are not the only thing that we have to worry about. There's a lot more that goes into it, just as the manufacturers that produce chipsets for those big name companies that you love, such as AMD, NVIDIA, Gigabyte, Asus, you name it. All those big companies are going to be affected big time. And it's all because they also have a big problem getting parts to those manufacturers as well. Those big PC manufacturers, they also need those chipsets just as bad as we want them. So they're having massive problems because of shipping delays. If you have sent something out or if you're waiting for getting an item shipped to your house, for the exception of Amazon, of course. But if you ever noticed that when you're waiting on your package or you sent out a package, there is a massive delay on sending it. Even if it's sent on two day priority, three day priority, next day, you will not be guaranteed to get it within the, even that week, within the second week. So of course, naturally third party suppliers, shipping, everything is rising in price. And that's one of the main reasons why PC parts are getting so expensive. And now you're probably curious if things will ever go back to normal. Will PC parts, PC peripherals, Will their pricing be fair again? And let me tell you, 2021 will have a lot of things to iron out from 2020. That includes exempting tariffs from other countries that have those heavy taxes. And another problem that everyone has to deal with is Bitcoin. And the reason for that is if Bitcoin drops, then you will see the less demand on those GPUs or PC parts that they need in order to mine. And then another thing that also has to get fixed, production goes back to normal or they double in production. Those are the main three problems that have to be resolved with this whole issue of expensive PC parts. And I gotta say, if you found this content very useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also if you are enjoying the big wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button where we love to talk about tech. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for all the newest updates. Make sure you go down and hit that Twitter handle down below. I hope you got the answer that you were looking for. If you didn't, make sure you put it down in the comments down below. Or if you know any other information that you would love to share with the fan band, please do so. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.